Einen wunderschönen guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren und hallo Wenne. Da bist du schon. Sogar in meiner, in meinem Intro schon. Volles Nett im Chat. Oh, das hat sich gereimt. Das war jetzt keine Absicht. Schön, dann dein Fortschritt. Ey, mega gut. Ich freue mich megamäßig. Lily, oh, I just forgot about activating my commands, my bot. Oh, I have to change this. Hello, Lily, welcome in. It's loading. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Prost River moment. Prost River. I'm totally tired tonight. In Candium, thank you. Danke. Oh. Now it should work. Ja, in den Tod. Hello, hello, hallo, hallo. Welcome in. Willkommen, meine Freunde, my friends. Welcome to a little, a tiny little stream. Ah! Boah. Ja, perfect, perfect, it's working. Yeah, it's a little session tonight because I just got around about two hours of time because tomorrow I have to get up earlier than expected because um, some people think they could block streets and so on here in Germany there are some protests and so on protesting against uh, the government and so on and so I have to get up earlier than expected because I have to go to work tomorrow so no long stream tonight but just a little bit of mass effect if if it will start yeah it seems that it's working nice. How are you, my friends? Wie geht's euch? Benne, wie geht's dir? Oh ja, jetzt geht's los. Das können wir ja schon mal rübergehen. Let's go. The wonderful... So, here we go. I hope you are well, my dearest friends. And in Candium, still there. <sighs> Doing good, little tired, but my new blanket for bed is hella comfy. Nice, nice, very, very good. Uh, please do a, sh do a shout out for our wonderful, precious Lily. If you like. So, we should go. Please show up, game. So, thank you. So, here we go with my favorite game series. I love Mass Effect because it was the first game back in the days which I chose to throw me back into gaming. Yeah, and this was the first series that showed me up how cinematic uh, video games could be and how immersive modern gaming could be. And we will start a new career right now. Welcome to Alliance Military And Interface. classified information requested. And you cannot see anything. Why? A Why? Secure connection. That is... Why can't you see anything? Wait... <laughs> We've gone blind. This cannot be... This should not be. <laughs> sehr schön, Benne, sehr schön. 
Jetzt sollte man eigentlich aber noch was sehen. Wait. Wait. For tonight, maybe this should work. <laughs> ah, here we go. So, blindness. Please log unfold. in to access your profile. So, I in every th six run throughs I played a male character. This time we will play Pandinatoria. And die It's difficult. It's ganz schön schwer. Oh, nein. Dann nennen wir sie Pandia. <laughs> no! There's one! <laughs> one missing. Okay, no problem. Lily, how are you? And a new blanket for the bed is so good in Candium. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre service history. Um, what can we do? I'll try to do this as fast as possible. Nope. Streets of the Great Metro Megatropolises. Oh, that sounds good. Confirm psychological profile. Doing good, doing good. Playing some Baldur's Gate at the moment. All right. Have fun, have fun, my dearest friend. One went horribly wrong. I seem to survive. You survived while all those around you fell. Confirm nice. Military specialization. And I wanted to try out a new um, spe specialization, as it's called here in this games, in these games. Confirm Vanguard. facial identification. Oh God! Oh God! Nope. Okay. Uh. Konnte man sie nicht? Ah! So ging das. Uh, während des Zielens. Während des Schielens. Wenn. Äh Ach, die Nase mag ich. Man kann damit so viel Blödsinn machen, ne? Das bleibt jetzt so. so. so ein bisschen asiatisch, ne? Finde ich gar nicht verkehrt. So. Ich muss da jetzt auch nicht ewig dran rumkaspern. Kann mal gucken. Wo ist schwarz? War gerade AFK. Kann man die Augen schielend machen? Nein. Aber ich musste irgendwie gucken, wie sie... Weil sie dabei so... gemacht hat. Oh, komm, ein bisschen schwarzer Schatten für Pandinatoria. Haare. Schwarz finde ich schon gut. Das ist die Standardfriese, glaube ich, ne? Oh, gut. Sonst noch etwas längere Haare. Oh, das ist nett. Das ist wie ein Elden Ring. Das machen wir. Oh, das ist auch alles gut. Oh ja, haben wir noch mal. Oh Gott. Ich möchte schwarz. Wenn's, hallo? Guck doch mal in die Kamera. Danke. Hahaha! <lacht> Vampy! 
Ja, da während des Schielens passt sie gerade nur sehr gut. Da sie ja schon sehr viel mitgemacht hat, können wir ja auch mal gucken, ob wir eine nette... Oh ja, das ist ja nett. Oh, Mann. Ja, passt. Profile Reconstruction complete. So. Abfahrt! Los geht's. Identification confirmed. Äh, normal, ist gut. Auch noch Level Up Off, ist auch super. Level Scaling. Legendary Mode. Classic Mode. Classic Mode, the original level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. Ne, Classic. Squad Power Usage, usage Defense, Defense, which skills and talents squad members will use in combat. Ja, das ist erstmal okay. Pondy, take a sip of your wonderful, fantastic, fabulous... You are playing drink. a game? Lily, you are playing a game, Skull! Okay, let's go! Und wie immer gilt, wenn irgendwas zu laut, zu leise ist, sofort. <lacht> I see, I see. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. <sighs> They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it the Mass Effect. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. <laughs> <lacht> Sehr geil, Benne. <lacht> Die Massendeffekte, ja. Ja. Staatse Normandy. Hans, Staatse Normandy. Den kennt ihr um gut, dass es dir neben der Müdigkeit auch ganz gut geht. Schön, dass es euch allen gut geht. Oh ja, so ein bisschen haben sie daran gedreht. Am ersten Teil haben sie am meisten. Fifteen hundred is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Hans. <laughs> you a Star Trek. So ship. you hate him. <laughs> Go to the Remember to space. zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. <laughs> They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Oh yeah. Ja. Wie will ich sie denn diesmal spielen? How to play this character this time? You always expect the worst. Now bad feelings are an occupational hazard. 
we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. <laughs> okay. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking. Full berserk. Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh yeah, das haben die geändert. Stimmt, ich hatte es auch mal kurz angetaggt. Oh, das fühlt sich jetzt ja wie. It's feeling like part 2 or 3. Äh, wie kann ich die Waffen wieder wegstecken, ist die Frage. Nee. Oh, ah, okay. Nice. Das haben sie auch geändert. Shepard Warp. Further damage. Ah, yeah, I see, I see. Oh, nice. Symbiotic thingies. Okay, dann lass mich erstmal wieder reinkommen. Nope. Oh, ist das sinnvoll? Konnte man auch rennen? Bestimmt. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, can go slow. Das sind Befehle. Orders. Ja, das war klar. Hm. Okay. Just. Want to know. Okay, Mausrad. <lacht> Whoops! Entschuldigung! Sorry! Nee, halt, stopp. Hallo? Wie kann ich. Wartet mal, Story. Ähm. Um. Okay. Siemens. Uh, ich muss erstmal wieder reinkommen. Hans-Peter Sonntag. Morgen vor der, morgens vor der Haustür. Schlüssel in der Kneipe verloren. <lacht> Weil er mal wieder zu viel gesoffen hat. Warte, jetzt gehen muss ich... Nein, das ist natürlich die Karte. Oh, warte mal, ich glaube... Ah, ja, jetzt bin ich in die Videosequenz gekommen, auch gut. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. 
A research team on Eve Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shot. The last time humanity made a discovery Big like this, sheet. it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. <laughs> Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Pondy, <laughs> get in go, action go, for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Pondy, yeah. take a sip of your wonderful, fantastic Hans, take, take a sip. Drink. Take the sip. Skull, my friend. Pondy, sing for three minutes instead of speaking. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping <laughs> its stellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Wait, Council's power please. If they accept a human under their ranks, <laughs> it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on the coups. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Coden, was auch immer du vorhast, bitte jetzt keine Bits cheeren in Dialogoptionen. Danke. <lacht> Mütze auf ist kalt und mach Cooldown Timer. <lacht> Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Yay! Humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest Big of the up. galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Prost, dann nehme ich ein extra CP nur für dich, Conan. Auf dich und. Deine erste Busführerscheinprüfung. Auf dich. Sehr gut. Ja, perfekt. In Candium und. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. Lily. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Now <laughs> ASAP. To observe the mission. <laughs> Echt? <laughs> in the English original, he's saying A ASAP. Oh my god. <laughs> Zum, zur ersten Hälfte der Busflappe, aber schon mal gut. Super gut. Herzlichen Glückwunsch! Congratulations! What do you know about the Protheans? The Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. <laughs> Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. 
It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic <laughs> civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. Ah. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon it's worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay. So, Geheimnisse, Geheimnisse, Secrets, Secrets unveiled. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Ja, wir haben ein Problem. Houston, we've got a problem. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need... that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area hmm. take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Und ich sag schon mal, diese Reise wird lang. This journey will get long. Engaging stealth systems. Aber es wird sich lohnen. Jeder Durchgang, den ich bisher hatte. Das sieht schon wirklich ein bisschen anders aus. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Torian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectrus, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. So. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Ah, yeah. Are you? What's wrong with trusting your life to a Turian, huh? I don't know. How can I put away my weapons? No. I want. Oh. Nice. So we got this. Ah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Wait. Ah! 
I got it! Okay. What the hell are those? Okay, that's nice. In the first part they did the most changes to get it a little bit more into the direction of the second and the third part. So den ersten Teil haben sie am meisten verändert in der Remastered Version. Okay. Nein. Wie öffne ich das denn jetzt? Nein. Hallo. <laughs> this will take a little bit. Uh, nope. Nee. Haben wir irgendwo interagieren? Nein. Fondi, take a sip Mann. Of wonderful, fantastic, Warte doch. Tasty drink. <laughs> Wait. Skull. Ah. <laughs> Let me try. Okay. Get on your fantastic no. battle grill. No, rot. Da sieht Pandi rot. Oh man, Alter, ah, ich musste noch singen und es ist aus. Oh, ich muss noch singen für die Ästhetik. Mache ich doch gerne. Das ist kein Problem. Nein, nein, das ist kein Problem. Nur schon mal Farb, wie spät morgen. Ich dachte mir, wir machen so 19 Uhr. Sollten wir starten. Und jetzt muss ich herausfinden, wie ich diese Truhe öffne. Ah, ich hab es geschafft. Sehr, sehr gut. So, lass uns schauen. Ich guck mir das dann mal später an. Und jetzt gehen wir hier voran. 19 Uhr ist hoffentlich okay für dich, Benne. Sollte funktionieren. Oh, ich vergesse es immer wieder. Ihr werdet sehr viel Spaß haben. Achtzehn Uhr, nein, neunzehn Uhr. Durch die Scheißbrille sehe ich nicht gut. Alles klar, neunzehn Uhr. Gerne etwas früher dann. Und schon mal Voice Chat Test. Sind Horas ist auch dabei. So wie es aussieht, dürfte es funktionieren. Und jetzt muss ich den Weg hier erst einmal finden. Oh Gott, jetzt bin ich hier wieder völlig verloren. Wo ging das denn hier nochmal lang? Geil, erste Mission und schon völlig lost. Da vorne. <lacht> so. Ja, man kann ja nur eine bestimmte Strecke lang rennen. Okay. Moment, bin ich von da gekommen oder? Lasst mich erstmal gucken. Nein, da ging es weiter. Ja, die haben den ersten Teil extrem verbessert. Ich sehe es jetzt quasi auch richtig erst zum ersten Mal. Aber die haben richtig krass was daran gemacht. So, hier muss man auch noch nicht nachladen. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, 
Paragon. Das war zu gut, ne? Ich soll ja Bull, Full Börser gehen. So. Die haben das extrem verbessert. Sie haben das sehr extrem verbessert. Entschuldigung. Ah. Oh, da, eine perfekte Brille. Geht automatisch aus. So. So, das mal aus. Genau, Schilde haben wir unten. Okay. Ah, und hier kann ich... Ah, und dann ist wahrscheinlich das zweite Teammember. Hätte ich noch, hätten wir noch eins, wäre hier gewesen. Okay. Kann ich noch mal die Wumme nehmen lassen? Kaiden Alenko. Ich weiß noch nicht, ob ich mit der Mausempfindlichkeit so glücklich bin. Ah, falsch. Entschuldigung. Hallo? Hallo? Kann ich mich da nicht dran? Doch. Genau, ich muss da erst ja. So, dann kann ich so wieder da runter, genau. Oh, wo schießt du hin? Gegen den Baum. Ah, okay, ich verstehe. Jawohl, so geht das. So, und die örtliche Fauna. Mal platt machen, bitte. Ah, da war Ashley. Genau. Leon! Help! Ach nee. Wrong Ashley. Nein, die haben sehr, sehr viel an den Details hier ge geschraubt. Definitiv. Also so, wie ich das in Erinnerung habe und so. Also es war ja nie wirklich schlecht. Das muss man sagen. Also für die Zeit damals... Es war nicht alles perfekt, aber gut. Ein Kebabspieß. Du darfst dich gerne in Deckung begeben, Madame. Hallo! Danke. Also da muss ich nochmal... Ah ne, das ist mein... Das klappt super. So wie es soll. Ja, gerne. Ich habe sehr viel gemacht. An ihm haben sie auch geschraubt. Also was ich... Was in Iron rein geschraubt. An ihm haben sie auch geschraubt. An ihm? An wem? Egal, sie haben auf jeden Fall sehr, sehr viel dran gemacht. In ihn. Ach so. Ja, das stimmt. Da hast du natürlich vollkommen recht. Der Kebab Ich bin mal ein Arschloch in diesem Run. Alles klar. What happened to your unit? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. Oh, it might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Ich kann kein Arsch sein in dem Spiel. It's time for payback. No, an Eintopf. Mmh, oh. Lass es dir schmecken, Incendium. Lass es dir schmecken und munden. Gönn dir. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. 
What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. Never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Let's go. Move out! So. Press escape to go to the squad screen to spend talent points for new squad members. Ach ja, im ersten Teil hatten wir ja noch mehr Rollenspielelemente. Ich erinnere mich. Ah ja. Pistols ist für ihn sehr gut. Dann haben wir sechs. Stimmt, erster Teil war ja noch mehr. Ah, und er hat dieselben. Ah, er ist dieselbe Klasse wie ich. Ah, alles klar. Vanguard. Nee, das ist. bin ich. Guten Morgen. Pandi kann's. Pandi hat's draus. Raus. Oh Mann, oh Mann, oh Mann. <lacht> Das passt aber auch zu meiner Verpeiltheit heute. Wo oh, kann... Ach so, da unten. Alles klar. Er ist Sentinel. Okay. Ah, okay. Ja, ich brauchte nur draufklicken. So. Miau. Ach so, man hat die Waffen dann einfach und dann kann man, hat man die Fähigkeiten entsprechend. Okay. Dann würde ich mich mal an die Pistole erstmal gewöhnen. Ist ja nun nicht so. Dieses Melee Damage Weapons Damage. So. Ich glaube, ich muss da auch nichts tun dafür, ne? Nein. Oh ja, und wir müssen speichern. Das ist ja hier in solchen Spielen auch immer so eine Sache. So, man konnte, glaube ich, auch schnell speichern. Perfekt. Und Quick Load. Nope. Nope. Ah, ja. Perfekt. Wichtigstes Werkzeug. Quick Load. Und Quick Save. Hallo? So, und ich wollte... Fähigkeiten darauf ausgerichtet sind, sollte ich das natürlich auch tun. Ja, ist ein bisschen Tutorial-Gebiet. Ach, Granaten haben wir auch noch. Oh, fliegen Sie gerade, ich entwickle mich. Hallo, ziehen Sie bitte. mich da erst. Tun wir weiter in den Abgrund und drück während des Fallens Quicksave. <lacht> Bitte ja, wundervoll. Oh, in die Klöten. So Pistolen habe ich noch nie benutzt in dem Spiel, aber irgendwann ist immer mal das erste Mal. Hallo? Oh Mann, da muss man sich aber... Dann hast du, glaube ich, reingeschissen, oder, Benne? Oh, guten Tag, junger Mann. Bitte legen Sie sich da nieder. Oh, ich habe Lebenspunkte verloren. Wie ist das hier nochmal gewesen? Musste ich mich irgendwie heilen? Konnte man sich... Konnte man sich heilen? Da... Aber wie heile ich mich? Sind Throw. 
Marksman, increases pistol damage and accuracy. Ah ja, das ist ein Perk, den ich freischalten muss. Oder aktivieren muss, ich entsinne mich. Okay, ich habe mich automatisch geheilt, alles klar. War gerade in der Küche. Sorry, was war? Du hattest ja gesagt, hier während des, während des Fallens Quicksave drücken bei Tomb Raider. Ähm, ja, ist schön. Macht Spaß, glaube ich, oder? Dann ist man, glaube ich, so ein bisschen, hat man ein bisschen reingeschissen, würde ich glatt sagen. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Volle Kanne. Stell dir mal vor, du hast irgendwie 30 Stunden in dem Game. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Volle Kanne. Volles Met in die Kanne geschissen. Oh, jetzt kommen die ersten. Ach, wie hießen sie nochmal? Die Zombies. Zombies. Die, die Dönerspieße kommen jetzt. Conan. Ja, still alive ist gut. Oh. oh, die explodieren so lustig, alles klar. Warte mal, ich möchte mal eben kurz schauen. Schade. Müsste man noch mal ein bisschen besser. Kann ich nicht zielen währenddessen? Nee, scheinbar nicht. Okay, warte mal, das ist. Ah, un. Ach, der ist schon tot. Das geht ja schneller als gedacht dem Sterbi hier. Ja, die haben definitiv einiges verbessert hier. The Husks. Thank you, Lily. Seemed a little confused for a second there. I see, I see. Maybe you gave me some of your abilities to to stagger and to confuse enemies as you did in Thymesha, Lily. <laughs> it is my presence in chat that confused them. Totally. I'm totally sure that must be it. Ach Gott, ja. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Ah yeah, that one. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them up long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only we will be caught in the Oh. Conan, thank you. Thank you for your gifted sub for Lily. Thank you so much. <laughs> What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet. 
leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. Mm. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? The beacon. It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Manuel! What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <lacht> Soll ich jetzt mal richtig arschig sein? <lacht> ich habe das Spiel noch nie in sechs Durchgängen habe ich das Game noch nie als Arschloch gespielt. Komm. Say good night, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my God! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. <lacht> oh shit. It was only a matter of time to do something crazy and dangerous. <laughs> oh. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. <laughs> I see we're doing Renegade. I'm not sure if I can handle this for too long. But I just tried it out. <laughs> but it could be another experience that I never experienced before. Das könnte mal eine Erfahrung sein, die ich vorher halt noch nie hatte. Aber er tut mir ja schon ein bisschen leid. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Renegade is a lot of fun. But that's normally not my playstyle. Huh? Nothing to grab here? Nope. Doesn't seem so. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Okay. Benne, woran die viel gearbeitet haben hier auch, und auch die anderen natürlich, ist an dem Lichteinfall. The lighting is much better than in the original. Saren. Nihilus. Saren. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Cox, shot guy. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Am <laughs> Schichtdurchfall? Fast! Am Lichtdurchfall! Nein, hier an dem, an dem Lichter, dem Lichtereinfall. <lacht> Tschüss. Auch das sieht bedeutend besser aus. Wir werden von irgendwas angegriffen. Ich sehe natürlich wieder nichts. Ach, da unten? Leute, ey. Müsst auch sofort losballern, ne? Das ist... Was haben wir? <lacht> Hello, Boys! Was ist denn mit euch? What's going on with the boys? 
the Reaper heard you taking screenshots. <laughs> He's on his way to your house. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What's the <laughs> <shit> <laughs> <in here>? <laughs> Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Oh god. Oh come on! <lacht> Die KI hat dann noch, noch nicht so ganz den Level von der Grafik. <lacht> ich weiß auch nicht, was hier los ist. Es tut mir leid. Oh, Leute. Oh, ich muss mal gucken. Pistole fühlt sich nicht so geil an. <lacht> was ist denn hier? Ich kann das so nicht mehr. Hier so drauf. Tatsache, dann heile ich mich auf. Sehr schön. Oh Gott. Take a sip of your wonderful, fantastic, fabulous, tasty drink. Skull, my friends. Skull. Hä? Wichtig für den Boss, um die Hochachse rotieren und übers Gelände hüpfen. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Okay. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. <laughs> Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just... I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Na, kann ich's immer noch nicht machen. Hand it over and I'll be on my way. Good luck. Stinger 2. Okay, wichtig für den Boss. <lacht> Großartig. Ach, wir haben ja sogar schon eine Stinger 2. Wo konnte ich die austauschen? Yep. Perfekt, haben wir schon irgendwelche Mods? Dafür noch nicht. Lasst mich durch! Pandaman! <lacht> Electronics skill too low. That is sad. Aber nicht kriegsentscheidend. Im wahrsten Sinne des Wortes. Oh, und es läuft auch sehr schön fluffig. Wie geht's, Mr. Park? Es ist großartig, wunderbar. Wie geht es dir? Nice. 
that you are here. Wo soll das nur hinführen heute? Bin ich tot? Ja. Tot? Nein! Niemals! So Ausrüstung und so werde ich in Zukunft immer auch mal offstream so ein bisschen abchecken. Ah, Medigel. Wie geht es dir, Mr. Park? Mir geht es gut. Ich kann nicht klagen. Heute eine kleine Session, Anfang von Mass Effect. Ah, super. Gibt es einen Grund, warum es dir super gut geht oder nur so? Auf jeden Fall sehr schön. Thanks a lot. Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. Hmm. Killed him. Sehr gut. <lacht> hast du etwas, hast du sowas wie Urlaub, Mr. Park? Demnächst, aber viel gearbeitet ist immer gut. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? Hat zwei Flug. It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide mm, behind the crates? Okay. They never had a chance. Und aufzustehen. I, Alles klar. I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Ein Moment. Oh, wartet kurz. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 wings where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <lacht> Ein Moment. Ich bin sofort wieder zurück. <lacht> Judgment, Judgment time. An einen meiner Mods bitte einmal diesen Wund... Ach, das kann ich auch selber eben machen. Das ist ja Quark. Das müssen meine Mods nicht machen. Ich muss alle, immer wenn die Heizung hier angestellt äh, ist, muss ich sie irgendwann... Hallo? So. Ähm, so. Alles gut, alles gut. Ich habe selber eben gemacht. Oben... Was soll das denn jetzt? Halt, stopp. So, Moment. So, immer wenn die Heizung an ist hier in der Bude, muss ich die Heizung zwischendurch kurz äh, dann abstellen irgendwann, weil die Heizung dann anfängt, ganz komische Geräusche in den Rohren zu machen. So. The existence of Verzweiflung points to the existence of a... Verdreiflung. <lacht> Judgment Time. So, alles gut, Incendium. Habe ich selber mal gemacht. Aber danke, dass du da bist. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up on the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. No. It feels like a whole other life. Danke, thank you, Lily. I've never seen it. Danke sehr. It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. 
Okay. We need to find that beacon before it's too you, late. I know. Take I'm always thirsty. That's where the other went. Always, Lily. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay. So. Mach's gut, Nihilus. Nein, die wollte ich auch gar nicht. Halt, stopp. So. Warte mal, eine Sache muss ich mal eben kurz gucken. Nihilus is fine. He's taking a nap. <laughs> He's so exhausted. Was a hard... Was such a hard work day today. Mouse sensitivity. Sensitivity. Sensi sensitivity. Sensitivity. I couldn't be better. I could be better. Hold left shift to bring up the power wheel. Left shift. Benne, left shift. Ja. So. Oh my god. Vanilla. Oh my god. Halli, hallo, ihr lieben Hans! Hold down the, die Left and Shiften! Danke, Incendium, für... <lacht> Gleich zwei Shoutouts auf einmal für Vanilla! Perfekt, Vanilla! Hallo, hallo und Raider, hallo! Ihr Lieben, na, wie ist es? Wie war euer Stream noch, Vanilla? Das klappt so nicht. Ich kann so nicht arbeiten. Danke für die Shoutouts. Sehr, sehr gerne. Ehre dem Ehre gebührt. So, irgendwer muss da noch hocken. Habt ihr noch weiterhin Morrowind was gespielt? Nein, Broken Sword, The Sleeping Dragon. Ja, ist ja gut, Caden. Ist ja gut. Wie war es in Broken Sword noch? Hattet ihr einen schönen Stream. Und für alle, die mich nicht kennen. Ich bin der Pandi. Pandinatorius. Und schön, dass ihr da seid. Ich bin Variety-Streamer. Hallo. Ashley, dein Hintern ist im Weg. Und ich spiele alle möglichen... Ich spiele alle möglichen Arten an Spielen. Heute Abend mal eine Runde Mass Effect. Schön... Uh, remastered. Die Trilogie wird jetzt noch mal richtig schön durchgeballert und ähm, ist meine Lieblingsspielreihe. Mittlerweile ja schon fast retro, wenn man so will und so weiter. Und ansonsten könnt ihr hier sehr viele auch Retro-Games oder Pixel-Art-Spiele finden, so gerade in die Richtung JRPG. Zurzeit spiele ich sonntagsabends immer Crosscode. Ansonsten findet ihr hier äh, Souls Likes im Moment Dienstagsabends Nio mal Team Streams mit dem Benne hier mit Confixis oder auch mal mit Conan oder Incendium oder Lily äh, Hunt Showdown manchmal ein bisschen Shooter Walheim Survival Games und so weiter und so fort sehr cool Leaves habe eine Quest in Morrowind abgeschlossen yay sehr gut und Broken Sword war doof Wegen Schleichpassagen. Das mag ich nicht so. Oh, oh, oh. Aber sonst bin ich viel gestorben. Also erfolgreiches Sterbi machen. Also warst du Sterbi-Schlumpfine, wenn ich das so richtig verstehe. Alles klar. So, und ich, ich bin hier noch nicht gestorben. Aber wie ich sterben kann, hast du ja gestern mitgekriegt bei Nio. Ich muss erstmal wieder hier reinkommen, genau. So. Oh Gott, ich muss erst in diese Steuerung reinkommen. Dann duckt der Keks sich! 
in dem Moment, hallo, wo ich den abschießen will. Ah, oh, Mann. Genau. Kennt ihr Mass Effect? Vanilla, hast du Mass Effect gespielt? Ein wirklich schönes Spiel. Also tolles Story-Driven Action-RPG. Der erste Teil noch etwas mehr Rollenspielelemente. Ab Teil 2 etwas mehr Action-orientiert. So, ich gehe mal für kleine Streamerinnen und dann bin ich auch was quatschen mit einer lieben Person. Viel Spaß euch. Alles klar. Danke für den Raid und viel Spaß mit der lieben Person. Habt einen schönen Abend und danke nochmal. Mach's gut. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Oh, das war das. Uh, Bombenstimmung gibt's jetzt hier. Ich habe Mass Effect nicht gespielt, mein Mann aber schon. Aber viel Spaß. Sehr, sehr gerne. Immer wieder gerne für die Shoutouts und Raids und so weiter. Mach's gut. Ciao. Ja, Benne, wie wir schon mal gesagt haben. Muss man die zerstören? Was muss ich tun? Hallo? Ah, okay. Es war noch nicht freigeschaltet. Ja, okay. Moment, wo ist die nächste? Links sind zwei. Ist sie irgendwie hier rüber? Moment, wo ging es hier rüber? Ich, ah, da. Oh, kann ich die ganze Zeit blitzen? Also, das ist manchmal etwas seltsam gerade, aber egal. Ist ein älteres Spiel. So. Da war er schon down. Schade. Mhm. Oh oh. Die Schilde sind unten. Ah, da merkt man schon, dass ich einen Schwierigkeitsgrad höher gespielt habe. Ah, mit diesen biotischen Fähigkeiten. Schild, Schild, Schild. Gar nicht so easy wie sonst. Aber. So. Du sollst. Ja, du kannst dich. <lacht> kannst sie auch entschärfen, wenn du dich hinsetzt. Schnipper. Ja, nur die Fähigkeit. Ist nicht hoch ausgebildet und meine Charakterklasse kann nicht so gut mit. Da war ein Schnipper, du hast recht. Komm. Ich sollte noch mal einmal. Nein, das sollte ich nicht tun. Hallo? Hä? Was war denn jetzt los? Ich brauche bedeutend mehr. Aber ansonsten guter Tipp natürlich, Benne. Ach komm, manchmal... Hallo, entschuldigen Sie. Ich muss das noch mal ein bisschen... Uh. So, er ist hinüber. Habe ich irgendwo was übersehen? Nein. So, jetzt geht's. Deshalb ist die Schnipper nicht so erfolgreich für mich. Oh, habe ich alle deaktiviert? Oh ja, Tatsache. Gucken wir mal, ob wir noch irgendwo Zeug finden. Aber die haben mir wirklich deutlich, was auch mit dieser Schulterperspektive, haben die wirklich viel verändert im Vergleich zur ganz alten Version. Ich glaube auch, die Animationen sind ein bisschen flüssiger. Ne, jetzt glaube ich nichts, oder? 
ist auf jeden Fall wirklich sehr, sehr nice. Fatigued. Ah ja, da haben wir dann die Ausdauerleiste. Genau so war das. So. Ah, hier hatten wir ein bisschen was. Jetzt wissen die Boys wenigstens, dass sie auf uns zurennen sollen. Und sind nicht mehr... Lily, the husks are not confused anymore. Ah, manual override, wait. I'm not... So. Okay, schnipper. Find here. Nichts zu finden. Hier oben. Man findet genug Zeug in dem Spiel. Daran mangelt es wahrlich nicht. So, da vorne ist der Prothean Beacon, den wir brauchen. Aber wir schauen trotzdem erstmal noch, ob wir noch weiteres Zeug finden. Ah, schau, guck. Hier geht's weiter. Recoil Damper. Was das alle ist, gucke ich mir mal in Ruhe an. So. Auf geht's. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oops. So, Hauptfigur tot, Spiel vorbei. <lacht> Natürlich nicht. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. This human must be eliminated. Yeah. 
Ja, waren sie nicht so erbaut davon, ne? Doktor? Doktor Chakwas. Ich denke, sie wacht auf. Du hast uns gewusst, da, Shepard. Wie fühlst du dich? Wie die Nacht nach der Schorleaf. Wie lange war ich aus? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Ich spiel ja einen Arschloch dieses Mal. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Alenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invaded. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. <laughs> I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do ah, anything clear. wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, mm. and he hates humans. I'm a be lurking, gonna chop up some heretics with my lovelies. I see. Have Welcome fun in Candium. Thank you, Thank for, you for popping in. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Gath, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack hmm. is an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, 
and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Jetzt geht's Richtung Council. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing just hast du gerade schon gesagt. I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Dead Marines, dead colonists, and in the end we still didn't get that beacon. Maybe you're right. Things went bad. I still can't believe we lost Jenkins. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel yeah. Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're unrestricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. Mm -hmm. I imagine that bought you any posts in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? If the captain thought you needed to know, he'd tell you. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Renegade. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. <laughs> when your number comes up, it's over. His did. Do you really believe that, Commander? After what happened to you on a coos? Are you saying you only survived because of random chance? A coos was a bloodbath. Even now, I don't know how I survived. I guess it just wasn't my time. With respect, sir, I think you had somebody watching over you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Dead Marines, dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, ma'am. Yeah. On our way to a good... Oh, nope. Where was it? Oh. Hmm. Wo konnte man das noch mal sehen? Nee, es müsste doch. Gab es nicht mal so, ein, so eine Anzeige, wie weit man Renegade und wie weit man Paragon war? Gut. Wie 
Ziele noch sei. Gucke ich mal in Ruhe nach. Bei den beiden habe ich schon echt übel eingeheizt irgendwie, ne? Ach, da ging es runter, ne? In den Maschinenraum und so. Ah. Ja, dieser Fahrstuhl, der so unglaublich schnell fährt. The Normandy is a vehicle by using a squad member's locker allows you to assign a code. Ach ja, genau. Okay. Das war ein Händler, glaube ich. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Ja, alles klar. Not right now, thanks. Oh, nee, erstmal nicht. In der Regel findet man alles, was man braucht. Bei der Maschinenraum. Hm. Okay, Adams hat nicht viel zu erzählen. Dann gibt es hier auch noch nicht viel zu versehen. Können wir heute auf jeden Fall einmal noch zur Citadel. Gerne mal so die Frage an die, die jetzt gerne auch im Chat schreiben. Wie ist das euch am liebsten? Soll ich so Nebenmissionen auch im Stream machen? Oder wollte er so, so Main Missions sehen? Wobei das teilweise auch nicht so wirklich gut voneinander zu trennen ist. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Falls ihr antworten wollt, gerne. Und ansonsten, grundsätzlich mache ich es ansonsten auch so, wie, ich's, wie ich Bock habe. Nebenmissionen sind auch cool. Alles klar. Hier und da. Alles klar. Die sind auch in der Tat sehr nett. Es ist halt dann nur nicht so oft, oft nicht so unbedingt action-driven, sondern eher ganz nette Dinge, die man nebenher macht. Und im dritten Teil gibt es eine sehr schöne Nebenmission, wo man einen ganzen Abend mit verbringen kann, wo alle Crewmitglieder, die auch bis dahin überlebt haben, eine Art Abschiedsparty feiern. Oder war es im zweiten Teil? Ne, ich glaube im dritten. Müsste ich nochmal gucken. Im zweiten oder dritten Teil gab es das. Das war richtig cool. Mag man so gar nicht glauben. Aber danke schön für die Rückmeldung, Conan. Dann machen wir die vollständige Reise. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers on any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance, Alliance Tower. Tower. Normandy, out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dark 422. Das wird dann ein sehr, sehr langes Projekt werden. Aber eines, das wir auch immer wieder mal fortführen können zwischendurch. Ich freue mich. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. 
Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought <laughs> half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. <laughs> Shepard, cool. you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Clearance. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> His access, accent is so nice. Okay, da sind wir schon mal auf der auf der Citadel. Ah. Oh, das ist ungewohnt so. Moment, da kommt was. Oh oh. Patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a Reckon team? Yep. Genau, Missions and Assignments. Go to the Hydra system in the Argus Row cluster and investigate. Das ist dann eine dieser Nebenmissionen zum Beispiel. Die haben wir jetzt gefunden, weil wir den Computer da gehackt haben. Moment, wo ging's hier nochmal? Da war, glaube ich, die Kneipe. Nee! Oh, oh, ja, yeah, ja! Yeah. Ja, yeah, wunderbar! It's always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. <laughs> Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful <laughs> response, Din. You don't truly believe that. <laughs> and if you do, I am very sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> he is funny. He is so funny, Conan. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> Gen <I delight laughs> enthusiasm. Of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. <laughs> Echter Enthusiasmus. Ich freue mich sehr, dich zu sehen, Conan. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. 
The L Corps were just beginning to explore Council's space when Yasari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, <laughs> though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Hätte ich fast nicht gedacht, dass ihr plötzliche Veränderungen gar nicht so gut findet. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the L Core groups to the attention of the council. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The council doesn't care about our races. Ach, das hatten wir schon. Egal. Okay. Lol, aber das beschreibt mich als Autist sehr. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Enjoy your time in my stream, Conan. I definitely know what you mean. Hopefully. And yeah, I know what you mean because I'm a little artist too. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador <laughs> is next door in the large office. Oh, in the large office. remark. <laughs> Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. <laughs> in this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture <laughs> would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, Despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me yeah. about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Mm -hmm. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. <laughs> The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Uh, bah, this talk is bah. wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. 
You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. <laughs> Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Okay. Also, ein yes, paar schöne. Yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Ja. Also die Elcor und die Volus, die beide nicht im galaktischen Rat sind und sind da auch relativ traurig drüber oder erzürnt oder auch ganz ruhig. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. <laughs> you overheard that, didn't you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get ah, you so upset? Best. Yep. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Good talk. So. Uh, nope. Das war natürlich wieder falsch. Pandi mal wieder. So, und jetzt öffnet sich quasi so eine kleine Open World in... Ja, das ist für alle, die sich jetzt überhaupt nicht auskennen. Hier haben wir jetzt die Citadel. So, wir gehen jetzt einmal direkt zum Council. Ja, man gibt auch ein Schnellreisesystem, aber... Den Luxus gönnen wir uns einmal rüber zu latschen. So. Hier gibt es auf jeden Fall immer viel zu entdecken, auch immer sehr viele Quests. Und wenn man bestimmte Abschnitte in der Main Quest abgeschlossen hat, sind alte Quests, glaube ich, manchmal gar nicht mehr äh, verfügbar. Da bin ich jetzt nicht mehr 100% pro sicher oder machbar. Aber dafür gibt es dann jede Menge neue Quests. Ah ja, und dann... The Keepers. Da gab es auch noch eine Quest zu irgendwann. Moment, bin ich jetzt vorbeigelatscht? Kann natürlich wieder mal sein, dass... Hier, da wollte ich hoch. So, im Untergrund gibt es auch noch jede Menge Zeug, Marktplätze und sowas. Fahrstuhlmusik inklusive. Oh ja, da haben die einiges gemacht. Executor Palin. Garros! Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Garros! Your investigation is over, Garros. Garros! Commander Shepard, Garros Vakari. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Sarah. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Pal, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Zarin to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. 
I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Garros ist mein absoluter Lieblingscharakter in dem Spiel. Warum wird sich dann im Laufe der langen Zeit, die wir jetzt mit der Reihe unterwegs sind, herausstellen? Schnellreisesystem. Da oben steht Anderson. So, das machen wir jetzt heute auf jeden Fall noch. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. Uh. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Hmm. Natürlich. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Ah, das sind zwei interessante Fragen. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Mm. I won't waste my time with that. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. Hmm. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. 
Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. Yeah, yeah. But his information won't come cheap. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Hmm... Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined c -Sec about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. <laughs> he's had more than his share of chances. <laughs> if the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. c -Sec is better off without him. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They government tend to work agency. Alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Ja, Secret Service. Natürlich der Geheimdienst. Quasi. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. Ah, der war das, ja. Mm -hmm. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Mm. Ah, can I das jetzt anklicken? Im Arschloch run? Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shama. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay. Wo sind wir hier jetzt? Ah, hier oben immer noch. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Dann würde ich ja nur glatt mal sagen. Einmal kurz noch einen vernünftigen Speicherstand. Dann machen wir ruhig mal noch einen vernünftigen dritten. Und ich würde vorschlagen, dass wir genau bis hierhin heute mal machen. Denn wie gesagt, ich muss morgen früh raus. I have to get up earlier tomorrow because of some protests here in Germany. Ja, ich muss morgen etwas früher raus, weil... Weil wir hier im Moment oder morgen wahrscheinlich in der Nachbarstadt große Bauernproteste wieder haben. Sehr gerne, ich danke dir. Bis morgen, Benne, auf jeden Fall. Wir gucken mal, wen wir oder ob wir noch wen raiden. Das Angebot ist jetzt nicht so prall, aber es sind mehrere online. Ähm, genau, da, gerne danke euch fürs Einschalten auf jeden Fall. Thank you all for popping in. And yeah, I will be back tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. CET, together with Benne and Sintoras in Borderlands and maybe Borderlands 2. We will see. Wir werden sehen. Morgen Borderlands, 7 Uhr abends ungefähr. Äh, Teamstream mit äh, Confi, Benne Beziehung und Centoras. Ähm, äh, und ich freue mich drauf. Das wird wieder sehr, sehr ernst und sehr, sehr lustig. Vielleicht. Maybe. Auf jeden Fall vielen Dank. Thank you all for popping in. Und wir werden mal sehen, wann wir mit Mass Effect weitermachen. Das äh, wird so eine Sache sein, die ich jetzt außerhalb meiner Sonntags-, Dienstags- und Donnerstagsprojekte mache. Immer dann, wenn ich Bock habe zu streamen und für so zwei Stündchen, vielleicht auch mal länger, eben auf den Stream möchte. So, und jetzt gucken wir mal eben, wen wir noch reden. Mist. Jetzt wollte ich T-Rex raiden, aber T-Rex ist gerade aufgegangen. Offline gegangen. Mensch! Nicht dein Ernst. Sonst habe ich nur sehr, relativ viele große Leute. Ah, hier. Wir nehmen den Neides. Ja, das ist eine gute Idee. Wir raiden den Nidus. Nidus now, der spielt gerade Escape from Tarkov. It's a German streamer who's playing Escape from Tarkov right now. Sehr gute Idee, das machen wir so. Und ich wünsche euch einen schönen Abend, eine gute Zeit. I wish you all a nice evening, a good time. Whatever, wherever you are, wo auch immer ihr seid. Und wir sehen uns morgen. We will see us tomorrow. 7 p.m. CET. Have a good time. Thank you so much. Your Pandy. Macht's gut, ihr Lieben. Danke euch vielmals, euer Pandy. Macht's gut.